Alright, uh, let's look at the homework 5.3, problem number 8. Alright, so uh, Q is the amount of drug in the body after uh, after T, T hours. Alright, so if you look at the difference equation here, and you can see that uh, uh, this is the exponential decay because uh, K value is negative here. Alright, so initial value is Q0. Alright, so let's answer the question. All right, so if if uh, initial injection is uh, 13 millimeter, uh, milliliters, all right, so uh, uh, Q0 is 13, then try to find the um, uh, uh, Q of T, all right? So uh, remember that the Q of T is going to be uh, Q0 e to the uh, KT, but in this case, uh, Q0 is given right here. So this is our Q0. Right? And also, K value is sitting right here. Right? So we know that uh, Q of T, so therefore Q of T is equal to 13 e to the negative 0 0.06 T. Right? So let's type that in. Right, so this is going to be 13 times uh, e to the negative 0 0.06 t. All right, let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, part B. How many milliliters uh, to uh, two decimal places are in the body after sev uh, 17 hours? All right, so we just have to compute uh, Q of 17. Right, so it's a 13 times e to the negative 0 0.06 times 17. Right, so we have. Right, so I'm gonna just to bring out the GeoGebra and I'm gonna just uh, clean that up. Right, so you have uh, 13 uh, times uh, e to the uh, negative 0 0.06 uh, times 17. Right. And hit enter, right? So it came out to four point six nine, right? So let's uh, type that in. Uh, four point six nine uh, milliliters, right? So check the answer, right? We got that, All right? Part C: How many hours uh, to two decimal places will it take for only two milliliters of the drug uh, uh, to be left in the body, right? So let's do that. So we just need to uh, set this guy equal to uh, only two millimeters, so milliliters. So we uh, set that equal to two, All right? So we can uh, solve this by dividing through by thirteen. So you have uh, e to the negative zero point zero six t is equal to uh, two over thirteen, All right? Then we take the natural log of both sides, so e cancel out. So you're, you're just going to get the zero point, negative 0 0.06t is equal to natural log of 2 over 13. All right, then last step would be just uh, divide through by uh, negative 0 0.06 to get t to be natural log of 2 over 13 divided by negative 0 0.06. All right. So let's compute this value. All right, so we need to compute a natural log of 2 over 13 divided by a negative 0 0.06. All right, hit enter. All right, it came out to be, uh, let's see, maybe I want to see a little bit more precision there. Rounding, All right. So it came out to be uh, 31.2. Two zero, right? Thirty one point two zero. So let's uh, type it in, right? So it's going to be yes hundredth. So thirty one point two zero, right? Check the answer. We got that. All right. So the last one. So this is exponential decay. So uh, the B and C are uh, in increasing. So it's not going to be a decay. So it's going to be between these two guys. So initially, we had 13 milliliters. So it looks like it's starting from 13 here. This one actually looks like it's going to start from 8. So this has got to be the, the right one. 
All right, check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.